Hello YouTube and welcome to the next video with a brand new Motorola Moto G Smart Phone. I have already inserted the micro SIM card and this was a little bit of tricky. Even though Motorola is advising us to push in the middle of the back cover and then lift it up, you need really, really a lot of force and don't be afraid to break the back cover to get the back cover off. So now we turn it off uh, on. The on off switch is on the side. Let's push it. And there we go. We get the Motorola logo. And we get also uh, the hint again a Google company. So let's see. And we get the spinning world. This is a little bit more, yeah, it's definitely nicer than only a rotating and blinking uh, Nexus logo. So there we go, SIM card pin. So there we are, language settings, English, start. Then select Wi-Fi. So I will put in my Wi-Fi password. I could, would, uh, would be also able to, to skip this step here, but uh, as I'm home, Let's connect to our Wi-Fi. Next step is about your privacy. Motorola puts you in control. Uh, yes, I couldn't change privacy settings somewhere, uh, but I accept it and... Ah, there we are. go with the privacy settings. Motorola privacy on off. Help improve Motorola products. Share device usage statistics. No, thank you. Moto care. No, no, no. So we can get back, accept and continue. And then do you got Google? Yes, and we connect to our Google account. Signing in, this can take a few minutes. And there we go, Google services, backup, location, yes, yes, yes. Uh, communication, messages from Google Play, no. So next step. Entertainment, Google Wallet, uh, not now. So you are set, Moto G is ready to use. Moves, photos, videos, music, call, history from another old Android phone. Do you want this? No, I got it controlled and synced via the Google account, so maybe later. Make yourself at home. And here we go, but this is definitely not the Moto wallpaper here. Let's switch this back wallpapers. And there we go. This is a Moto G wallpaper set. Wallpaper, that's better. It just took the old one from my Nexus 5 here. So, first impression. Let's check out the uh, brightness. Brightness is at full. Okay. A viewing angle. Yes, we got reflections, of course, but... Uh, first impression of the display is really nice and colorful and even though it's just LCD with 720p it looks sharp and colorful. Yes, definitely. But before it starts here downloading all the stuff, uh, let's check out the storage. We got a total space of 5.52 gigabytes and only yet available 4.78 gigabytes. Um, I assume if I got a clear, clean uh, Android, uh, not Android, Moto G phone, I will get around 5 gigabytes of free available memory storage here. Um, it's already started to download a lot of apps and it's already syncing for a couple of minutes here. So I would say 5 gigabytes. Uh, this is a free space you get in with a 8 gigabyte version. And this should should be a sufficient for, for most of the people out there. So let's next step um, settings. And we want to know about your phone. And model number Moto G Android version 4.3. Hit it, hit it, hit it. And yes, Jelly Bean. So there will be an Android 4.4 uh, KitKat update in the next couple of weeks. So don't be afraid of this. And what's next? We got still our SMS app. Uh, app. Yes, no, include not yet included into Hangouts. This will come with 4.4. Let's check out the camera app. It's the same symbol, but yes, it's not the Nexus uh, camera. It's the uh, Motorola did some own sync here. Push it. Ah, picture. Yes, row picture function settings. Swipe for the settings, HDR, uh, LED, panorama, panorama is on. No photosphere here. For this you sh then install, just install the normal app, uh, the normal Nexus app. So let's swipe again for, not gallery, I want into the settings. And 
widescreen. Yes. What else? Slow motion video func function. That's nice. And I've got no settings here about picture size and picture quality. Hmm. Okay. Zoom. Zoom. What about video function? It already starts recording. No settings. This is strange. Hmm. Maybe somewhere else. But this is just the first quick look. What else do we got here installed? We got Motorola Assist the tr uh, transfer software, the migration software. We got a radio here and Motorola Migrate again. Okay. So this are the first apps here. And now, of course, there will be other videos with the new Motorola G, a comparison video with the Nexus 4, with the Nexus 5, and all the other smartphones out there. But the first impression of, of the device, yes, for 169 euros, this is definitely a nice device. Uh, what's about Google Now? No swiping for Google Now. Pull up for Google Now. Everything's normal. Then shaking, like from the Moto X or any functions. No, 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 no. So you don't get the special stuff. You don't got NFC or LTE here, but it's just 169 euros. And this is the thing that makes this phone so attractive. This will be, in my first opinion, this will be really, really sufficient, a sufficient, great and good smartphone for maybe 70, 80% of the people out there. So we have now to do all the tests, all the checkups and uh, thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next videos. Bye.